Hello, it's me, Grandma Lily, and it is time for story time with Grandma Lily. Today was Sunday. It was a beautiful day. I went outside to walk the dogs, but I didn't do much else because I was doing homework all day. And you know what? I have a secret for you guys. It's close to done. Mm -hmm. I just have to look my paper over again, make sure it's okay, and then we are good to go. So that means that I will be able to bring you story time with Grandma Lily a little bit earlier. Because you know what? Right now, it is one o'clock in the morning, and I know that you all are sleeping, and as soon as I am done, I'm going to sleep too. But I don't want to miss a story time with Grandma Lily, so here we go. Today, I'm going to read a different book for you. I don't know this book that well. I have, I bought this book probably at a, a yard sale or a, a library book sale, and I've probably only read it a couple of times. So we're going to read it together, and it's called Two Terrible Frights. Maybe that's a, a good book to read at night before you go to bed. Two Terrible Frights. And it's by Jim Aylesworth, and it's illustrated by Eileen Cristolo. Okay, so here we go. I want you all to get, first of all, okay, don't want to forget, hello to my Jordan, Elijah, and Kylie, and hello to my Serenity, and I want you all to get your blankets and your cookies and milk and whatever you want to get, put your jammies on, and we're going to read Two Terrible Frights. Here we go. To Jerry and Norm with Love, and that's by J.A., so that would be Jim Aylesworth, for The Littlest Mouse and LB by EC, and that's Eileen Cristolo. Okay, and this is a little girl and her teddy bear. Once upon a time, there was a big old farmhouse way out in the country. Downstairs in the basement in a cozy corner, a little mouse was thinking about a bedtime snack. And upstairs, in a cozy room, a little girl was also thinking about a bedtime snack. Hmm. The little mouse went to her mother and said, Mommy, can I have a snack before I go to bed? Maybe a little piece of cheese? The little mouse's mother said, Yes, but you'll have to go up to the kitchen and get it for yourself. I've been working all day and I'm tired. And at just about the very same moment, the little girl went to her mother and said, Mommy, can I have a snack before I go to bed? Maybe a little glass of milk? The little girl's mother said, Yes, but you'll have to go down to the kitchen and get it for yourself. I've been at work all day and I'm tired. I know when I go to work all day, I'm tired too. The little mouse said, I can't go up there all by myself. There might be a monster or something just waiting to get me. The little mouse's mother said, don't be silly. The little girl said, I can't go down there all by myself. There might be a creature or something that'll jump out and get me. The little girl's mother said, how ridiculous. So the little mouse started for the kitchen all by herself, quietly up the radiator pipe, tiptoe under the floor, through a dark hole, under the stove, and out across the kitchen floor. And at just about the very same moment, the little girl also started for the kitchen all by herself, quietly down the long hall, tiptoe up the stairs, through the dark parlor, through the dining room, and into the kitchen. Uh-oh, you think you know what's gonna happen? I think I know what's gonna happen. And just when the little mouse was right in the middle of the floor, the little girl flipped on the light. Click! They both stood very, very still and looked at each other. 
That has happened to me, guys. When I've turned on the light, there's been a little mouse just staring right at me. Then at just the very same moment, the little mouse went squeak, and the little girl went eek, and they both took off running. The little mouse ran back under the stove, back down the hole, back under the floor, back down the radiator pipe, all the while hollering, Mommy! 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 And just as fast, the little girl ran back through the dining room, back through the parlor, back up the stairs, back down the hallway, all the while hollering, Mommy! 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 They're both scared. The little mouse sobbed. There was a person up there, and it eeked at me. The little girl sobbed. There was a mouse down there and it squeaked at me. Now, 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 said the mouse's mother. I can tell that you've had a terrible fright, but I'll bet that person you saw was a little girl person and you probably scared her worse than she scared you. Now, 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 said the little girl's mother. I can tell that you've had a terrible fright, but I'll just bet that mouse you saw was a little girl mouse, and you probably scared her worse than she scared you. You think? Do you really think so, said the little mouse, drying her tears and crawling into bed. I hope I didn't scare her too much. I'm sure she'll get over it, said the little mouse's mother. Then she kissed her on the cheek and said good night. Do you really think so, said the little girl, drying her tears and crawling into bed. I hope I didn't scare her too bad. I'm sure she'll get over it, said the little girl's mother. Then she kissed her on the cheek and said good night. The little mouse fell asleep in her soft bed, thinking about the little girl. And at just about the very same moment, the little girl fell asleep in her soft bed, thinking about the little mouse. And they both dreamed about each other. And that is the end of Two Terrible Frights. And that, by the way, was written in 1987. And now, guys, did you notice something about that story? Something just a little bit strange? They both went to bed. They never got their snack. I don't know what I would do. I bet I would wake up in the middle of the night hungry. Well... It is late and Grandma Lily needs to go get some sleep. So I wanted to give you a story tonight and that is my story of two terrible frights. I have a surprise for you this week. I have a very, very, very special Dr. Seuss book coming up. I can't tell you what it is and I can't tell you when, but it's very, very special. So you guys enjoy two terrible frights. Have a great day tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow evening. I love you all. Bye-bye from Grandma Lily.